I'm Julian Frost N3JF, and if you've ever worked HF before, you know the frustration of not being able to make out a station weaker than the noise surrounding the desired signal. This noise could be from a much stronger signal just a few kilohertz away, or other noise on the band, or in your neighborhood. Either way, you need an edge to log that cue. Many radios have various noise reduction tools built in. Some include DSP enhancements, and let's not leave out external speakers with DSP. But there are differences to these solutions, and not all DSP solutions are equal. ICOM has blazed the trail when it comes to digital signal processing, or DSP. Implemented at the IF stage, ICOM's DSP gives the amateur radio operator tools that could only be dreamed of just a few years ago. A quick note about the differences between DSP and IF DSP. Regular DSP solutions occur in the audio frequency, or AF stage, whereas the IF DSP occurs before the signal detection circuit. An IF DSP provides many interference reducing tools that have a direct impact to the AGC in your radio. Thus, you reduce or remove an interfering signal and it is taken out of your AGC circuit and allows the AGC circuit to focus on the weaker signal. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick taste of the IF DSP tools available to you on your ICOM IC9100, IC7000, IC7200, IC7410, IC7600, IC7700, and IC7800. All of these radios have ICOM's groundbreaking IF DSP built in. The features I'm going to demonstrate are available in all the aforementioned radios, but I'll be demonstrating them on an IC7700 because it has a great 7-inch LCD display and a graphical interface, which is very useful for visualizing what's going on. Rest assured, if you have one of these radios, then you have these features. While too many knobs and controls can be intimidating, ICOM has given the operator adjustments for many of these settings in a simple push and hold menu. For example, momentarily pushing the filter button switches from filter 1, filter 2, and filter 3. Pushing and holding the filter button shows you all the filter adjustments, allowing you to build your own filters. Perhaps the most common and most often used form of digital signal processing is noise reduction. This reduces the static background noise and is enabled by pressing the NR button. Rotate the NR dial to reduce the background noise. And you never did have that happen that I know of. It is possible to use too much noise reduction, which results in what is often called the waterfall effect. I'm thinking. Yeah. So use just enough noise reduction to reduce the noise and not negatively affect the audio. Well, yeah, you could. Turn off noise reduction by pressing the NR button a second time. Every ICOM radio equipped with IFDSP has three preset filters. Switching between the filters is as easy as pushing the filter button on the radio's front panel. During SSB, CW, and digital mode operations, you can configure the currently selected filter's bandwidth to your choosing by pushing and holding the filter button for one second. It's then a simple task of holding the BW button and rotating the main tuning dial to set the filter passband for that mode. When adjusting the filter bandwidth, the ICOM DSP programming automatically adjusts to a 50 Hz step once you drop below 600 Hz. That's great for operating the digital modes and CW. Adjusting the shape of the filter is easy to do, selecting sharp or soft characteristics. The sharp filter is great for pulling out a weak signal, but for those long hours in a contest, the soft filter reduces the harshness on the upper edge of the audio. I updated my iPod finally. You got a five? No, I'm six. They got a six out? Yeah, I was at four three. If at any time you want to return to the default filter settings, pushing the DEF button resets the chosen filter to the factory program state. In the Mac, laptop, 
updated it, and then stakes it all back in, application by application. It took an hour. Every ICOM radio equipped with IFDSP gives you, the radio operator, the ability to tune the passband filtering on the fly. The two concentric twin passband tuning dials on the front of the radio allow the operator to electronically narrow the passband width. Interference can be significantly decreased and even eliminated entirely by independently narrowing the passband edges. Moving both controls in the same direction together acts as an IF shift control. It's good to remember that some DSP designs allow you to adjust the contour, but at a fixed setting. Other DSP designs have only IF shift, but not both. While IF shift can help, this does not reduce your pass bandwidth and could take you from one interfering signal right into another. It is often the case that the ability to eliminate an interfering signal is the deciding factor between being able to work a weak station or not. In the following real-life demonstration, I'll show how ICOM's twin passband tuning completely eliminated a strong interfering signal on 10 meters single sideband. Start by pushing and holding the filter button to adjust the filter characteristics. Slowly adjust the two concentric twin passband tuning dials to eliminate the interfering signal. You can see and hear the interfering station transmitting. So continue adjusting the twin passband tuning dials. Here you can see that the interference has been eliminated. Again, here it is without twin passband filtering. And with it reapplied. Pushing and holding the PBT clear button resets the passband. As I said at the beginning of this video, this is just a small taste of the IFDSP features available in this series of radios from ICOM. I'm doing a much more in-depth video which will be uploaded to the ICOM America YouTube channel in the coming weeks. For Ham Nation, this is Julian Frost, N3JF73.